Hey guys, welcome to What Remains of Edith Finch. Cool little puzzle game. That I really know nothing about other than puzzle game and things environmental storytelling. And I don't know. So yeah. Oh. Alrighty. Does it tell me the controls? So oh, there we go. Are two to do something? A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just gonna start at the beginning with the house. Alrighty. A house. In the middle of nowhere, it looks like. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Odd, okay. A uh, triangle is to, yeah, triangle is to boss. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, oh. open immediately. So they weren't open immediately. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. Okay, it's like a trespassing. In her will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. I'm gonna Maybe she the thought house? I'd know, or she thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. There are two ways to go, left and right. Let's go left. I don't think this is a horror game. The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. The woods around the house have always been uncomfortably silent. As if they're about to say something, but never do. I like how it just got quiet. This is an interesting house. The house was exactly like I remembered it, the way I'd been dreaming about it. Let's go this way. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Now, as a 17 year old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. Okay. Now, particularly like feeling this is a horror game now. I hoped the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. Oh. Looking in, I felt like the house itself had been waiting for me. Gang horror game vibes. I'm not liking it. And I guess like the back door. The house felt like it had always been here. Even the swing set was older than my mother. Hmm. Oh, that's okay. 
Uh, Skippy game atmosphere. I heard something moving around in the garage. Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. Oh, already? The power had been turned off the night we left. Oh. Cool. For the first time in years. I felt like I was home. But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. Like how only one restaurant would deliver to our house, so we had Chinese a lot. Or how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got mm. sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Oh, okay. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it, like a smile with too many teeth. Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. Hmm. I don't want to go in the basement. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. I don't like that. Let's go upstairs. There's After like the Milton wheelchair thing. Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. What? What? That doesn't sound entirely legal. Edie's father Odin built the original house. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Uh, movie actor, actress. The last time I was in Edith Senior's room, I was 10 and she was painting my portrait. Hmm. Calvin. My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother. Calvin. Gregory? A year. As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. Hmm. 
Barbara was a child star for two years. Until America grew out of it. Hmm. Guess they're rolling in the attic. Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. I guess we're in the basement instead already then. I need some more doors. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. Huh. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. 20,000 leagues under the sea? My? Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Ooh. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Let's go a bit exploring the other ways. Molly. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with if she hadn't died in 1947. When does this game take place? From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Hmm. Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. But I had no idea what was behind that door. Just like I had no idea where all this was going to lead. Uh... I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. <laughs> Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. Okay. Diary. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. Uh, the pumpkin. My Halloween candy was oh. all gone. The, the gerbil. gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Yeah. Okay. The fish. I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. <laughs> the starfish. I think. Hold on. Uh. All right, that's a better. This is radical now. Yeah, don't like it that much. I kept eating and eating. Don't eat the toothpaste. Ah. I ate a lot of things that night. Aren't those like bad tweets? Then I heard chirping outside my window. The bird. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. And suddenly... What? I was I'm a cat! A... 
Alright, jump. R2. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Get out of here. Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. How do I jump? Oh. So close. I jumped and I almost got her. I could tell she was getting really tired. Was now endurance. I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. I gobbled her up. Oh. And suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. This is gonna be hard. There you go. Got it. I imagined his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. I swallowed him up and I didn't chew one bit. And then I flew off to find something bigger. A mama rabbit. <laughs> Another one. All right. She was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. This makes no fucking sense. Does that need to be like in water? Oh, and I rolled off a cliff and into the ocean. Uh. Now I was hungrier than ever. Oh, I need to go. Is that person? No, it's a fish. I wanted fat, juicy seals. It's a seal. I tore off her flipper, and it tasted really good. <laughs> Get over here. I grabbed on tight. Oh, I was so hungry, I jumped out of the water. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. I am a tentacle. Now I was a monster and I smelled people everywhere. So I do just readjust my camera, you know? No. I was pressing. big, but I moved real quiet. Yes! Ah! Did 
belly was rusty. Two are gone. One remains. Someone says a dream girl, and not like something real. Oh, so the tentacle. I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. Alrighty. I'm in like something's. Am I in? I got oh. closer and closer. Molly's room. Is she in the bed still? How big is this monster? Oh, this is massive worm thing. Oh. All of my stomach started growling. Oh, and suddenly, okay. I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious. <laughs> the fuck? I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. I have a lot of things to girls investigate. Alrighty, well I'm up to here. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and comments next, and goodbye.